Hi everyone, it's Chappies Crypto here again with a video about my previous trade reviews. So it's been about a week since I've done a video on my trades. It's been a pretty busy week for me, so I haven't had a lot of time to actually um, review my trades uh, in a video format. However, I uh, thought I'd spend a bit of time Saturday evening in Australia. I uh, spent a bit of time just going over a couple of my previous trades. I like to, to call this particular video um, trading out of a hole. So what I mean by that is about probably earlier this week I had a bit of a shocker and I over traded and I gave away well, basically all my profits that I'd made over the last previous week so a little bit frustrating um, an emotional evening that night and I just over traded and, and um, yeah, it wasn't a great night so market psychology 101 is so important and if you haven't already watched the Mark Douglas video series about trading trading the zone the author of the book trading the zone I'll put some links to his videos series in in the description below um, there's four fantastic videos that i highly recommend people watch um yeah and i can't recommend it enough so as i said i've i've learned a lot um, about myself through this trading journey however this video is really just about to show you a couple of the trades that i took this morning so at the start of this week i actually had traded back in my my thousand dollar account i'd actually gotten up to just over or around about eleven hundred dollars and then in the space of about half an hour to 45 minutes uh, last Sunday evening I think it was I gave all that away and then by Tuesday I think my trading account had gotten down to $950 roughly so I was a bit frustrated so I just really reverted back to the basics uh, focused on just doing one trade at a time not over trading really look at market structure and then focus on really good setups um, not be overly aggressive shoot for only one you know that one percent trade return on 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 a particular session and, and just really get back to basics proud to say that today i, I broke my my balance back over a thousand fifty so a thousand fifty seven at the moment is my current balance um, and that's just through you know sheer determination and patience ultimately so i want to just quickly review two or three of the trades that i took today um we've been in a, a really nice uptrend over the last probably 48 hours with Cardano particularly, um, which is great. Um, Cardano is one of my favorite cryptocurrencies. However, what I wanted to do is just show you this particular trade, well, a couple of these trades I took today. So this is my four chart layout, and obviously it's not fair because you can see what's happened over the last few hours. However, I wanna go back into this morning and show you the setup that I actually took. So with Cardano, I've, I've got my split or my profile set so that the current session we're in is split out and the previous previous sessions are actually broken down to the structure what i mean by that is that this has formed a structure because the tpo as in the current structure is just these individual bars um, but once that particular 24-hour session closes out it will then form a structure that looks somewhat like this and so with cardano because the trade i took this morning was actually um, not long after eight o'clock this morning and I'll, I'll need to break the structure out. So to do that, we need to go into the settings. The settings, simplest way for me to do that is bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you'll see this little tiny triangle on the, on the corner of the screen. If you press on that, you can then go into the market profile settings. If you've got my template, if you're using my template, if not, um, you need market profile, the market profile indicator turned on. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to the split type here. And you'll see how I've got the split type set to last profile. And I'm gonna say split all, so that all the bars are split out. And I'll just close that again. The way to close that, just press this little button here. Close that button. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look back in time and have a look at what was happening in the price action this morning. So we'd been in a nice uptrend for the last 48 hours, as I said before. And what I, one of the things I've really learned, and I suppose the, the thing I learned from my account going backwards is to not fight. Basically, I've, I've given up trying to do fade trades or I'm, I'm being really hesitant if I was gonna do a fade trade. And what's a fade trade? Well, a fade trade is as simple as this. One way to think about it, if the trend is going like this and the VWAP's telling us generally which way the trend is going, um, Bitcoin Brad from the Trade Vets. If you're not familiar with the Trade Vets, check out the website, thetradevets.com. Um, great website to learn all about market profile, TPO, time price opportunity. Uh, they've got a Discord channel, which is free to join through here. And they've got a couple of, they've got a course you can do called the Bootcamp, as well as a live trade room, which um, Bitcoin Brad trades every morning. Um, US Open for the first two hours and great just to jump on board and, and listen to him as he dissects the market. However, um, one of the things he'll talk about is how to do a fade trade. So these are some of the things I've learned through his course. So a fade trade is something as simple as, as the price does this and it does this reversal against the trend. So this, if you were you know, skilled enough to catch that trade there, um, that's a fade trade. And you know, you'd probably be looking out to get out around once it passes over VWAP or even to the bottom of this value area. 
However, um, personally, and when I've done those trades, I've tended to got myself wrecked. So I'm, I'm being a little bit more hesitant about doing those type of trades. Uh, the trade I did take this morning though, was a trade that actually went with the trend. And what I was looking for was this. So I got into this trade this morning at roughly um, just a bit after eight o'clock. So if you look back at the chart here, eight o'clock, the price had come down here. This is a previous level I previously marked. So I was glad I'd done this work. Um, and I, my previous video I've just posted to YouTube um, for go charting. So if you check out um, one of my go charting videos on how to set up levels, this is a level I previously set and this white line I'm talking about. And what was happening with the price is it done this, had a nice breakout, it had faded back in here. We're still above the VWAP. So this gap here, this is the VWAP. Still above the VWAP and just, just understand that this price action to the right side here, I couldn't see at that point because this is the candle that was forming. We'd done this nice big drop down and then the price had started to come back up here and it was sitting just above this this area. So I just felt like this was a point of resistance here because we'd, it's, we'd had a lot of price action at this level and if you look at the previous this previous structure here, we'd, we'd drop down, we'd hit VWAP, we'd come up, we'd hit VWAP, we'd come up and if you, you know, um, this is just trading one on one theory at the moment uh, that's a uh, higher higher low higher low higher low high high higher high um, if you don't know what I mean with that there's truck loads of videos on YouTube that explains what I just said however I just had this feeling when I looked at that structure that this price level if I this was going to be a really possibly good entry and the nice thing about this entry as well it meant that if I play, get an entry around here somewhere I can have my stop loss pretty tight so if I've got the call wrong I'm not really risking too much so I, I did enter this trade. It was about 8.20 this morning. I got in at $2 and 2.01, um, which is actually exactly where that, 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 that support line that I'd previously marked out was. And that trade turned out really well. My, my target was actually here, but what I actually decided that I was gonna be a little bit more aggressive. So I just watched the price here. If it got up to this level, um, I wasn't necessarily gonna take the trade out. And what I actually did on this trade is, once the price moved up to this these levels and what i what i personally do is the, as the trade's happening as it comes up um if it breaks if it broke over this level what i was going to do at that point is move my stop loss above my entry which i did do so as the price came up to this level i was i felt pretty good it broken through that previous it eaten that stop and what i mean by that is um check out the trade vets or they'll explain all this to you however there's if you're familiar with um the cpo or the way that these markets work uh, when people place these short orders, so if, if I was going to place a short here, I would most likely place my stop around this level. So when I talk about, and when people like Bitcoin Brad and others talk about when price is going to eat a stop, what it actually means is it's actually going to absorb a stop order that's sitting there. So there's 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 orders sitting in the system here, and as the price gets there, it's got to move through those. So it's what we refer to as eating a stop. So as the price came up to that level for me, I felt like, okay, if we break through that, I can safely move my stop loss up. And that's exactly what I did. So as we got to that point, I actually moved my stop up to about this point, which is just below this, this particular candle. And I worked this trade pretty hard. So I was keeping my eye on the price action. It wasn't moving overly quickly. However, rather than get out at this level, because for me, that wasn't a huge return. I was really looking for this particular price level. And, and I'm glad I did because it actually played out really nicely. Um, I was pretty um, convinced that if we hit this level, I'm just taking 100% of my position out because I was happy with that return. And it played out really, really nicely this morning. Pretty happy with that trade. Um, it ended up for that particular session. Uh, that was the only trade I took this morning. And I was only on the I was only in the, in the markets for about an hour and a half or so. I was watching the charts. Um, but that was a really good trade, as I said. I got in at this point, I rode that right up to that point, got out 100%, and it was ended up, I, I was only trading with my $1,000 account. I had 25% of my total capital in that trade with five times leverage, and it returned a return of 3.8% return on that one trade. So super happy with that trade. And I, was, I turned my computer off at that point and shut the charts, and I walked away, and I didn't look at the charts again for quite a few hours. Um, so that was this morning's trade and you'll notice that it kept on going um, and look at that it actually was it did so well it actually came up to this other target i previously set but you'll notice what's happened today as it's it's come up to that level and it's been bouncing around down below it so it's found its new um area to start to create some structure and so it's just doing doing this for really the last eight or so hours so if you'd sitting on this trade this morning um i suppose if i was being um I could have possibly just taken 75% out at that point and let 25% run, 
would have been nice. I would have grabbed a nice little chunk out of that as well, which didn't take too much longer. However, I was pretty happy with that return. Uh, the second trade I actually took, which was later on the day. So as I said, this morning, I just did one trading session, that only one trade. Uh, this afternoon, um, I was looking at the charts again. And once again, if you know, what, as I talked about before, my four chart layout, I have all these four charts looking like this. And because I've got my levels marked, what, I, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for this sort of structure. And I've learned this from the trade vets. And if, you, if you're not familiar with those guys, just go and check out their site. Um, however, I was looking for this because I, I, I'm long biased at the moment because it's been in such a nice long tra trend. And it, once I started seeing the price start to do this, I started to get quite interested in Cardona again. So let's have a look to see what happened. So Cardona, and it was this afternoon at roughly 3.29 or 15.29. So three, where are we? Three o'clock. It's just before 3.30. So I was looking at this particular price action and I made the decision that if we get above VWAP again and, and get past this white line on go charting as a POC, I was looking to possibly take another long from this sort of level. And it did nicely and it allowed me to, so I actually placed my trade on this one uh, just a couple of minutes before 3.30 and the entry price I was 2.19. Is that right? I think it was 2.1. Sorry, that was my target. I got it at $2, 2.134. So, which was around this sort of level. So, around there, and I got on this candle here. We'd broken past this, felt like we we're on the way, got in there. I set my stop loss just below the VWAP. So, I got in, it actually broke, and I was pretty excited. And then this happened this, this candle opened, it started to break down. I, I, I still have my stops in here, you know, and I made the decision if it breaks past the VWAP, um, I'm done. I've got this call wrong and I was happy to just take the small loss. However, I was patient enough. I didn't read my stop loss. I didn't freak out and the price started to come back. And then over the next little period of time, it, it came back up. Once we broke, and I spoke about this earlier, once we broke that level, I moved my stop loss above my entry. So my entry was around that level. So I moved the stop loss up here price action come up to here it started to retrace somewhat so I actually ended up taking 50% of my position out at that point roughly um, and I actually moved my stop loss up as well and this this trade kept on going uh, did this fluffed around for a little bit and then eventually hit the hit the target I'd previously set so uh, it was almost textbook um, trading that those particular two trades really low heat not a huge amount at risk um, and that was the two Cardona trades I took. I only took one other trade today, which was an Ethereum um, long, and uh, which was a very similar setup to the Cardona trade. Now I would be focusing on, as I said earlier on, about just doing one trade at a time. Um, so I was, I was fo totally focused on the Cardona trade, but as I saw the Cardona trade starting to get close to my target, and I, I was comfortable and I moved my stop loss into profit, I started just to scan the charts. And I was pretty lucky I did because at around about four o'clock, I noticed that Ethereum was doing this. So we'd come down below VWAP. This gray area on go charting is the value area. It had actually come down below value area low. It had actually almost hit my previous um, line I'd, or structure line I'd, I'd drawn up and it was starting to retrace back up this direction. So I just made the decision, you know what, if price gets to the VWAP or around this level, I'm gonna be looking to enter along trade on this particular um, coin so great timing for me because at 405 or just at the start of this candle um, I got into this trade or actually it was this candle here I should say so that was the 3.30 to 4 o'clock candle this is the or bar this is the 4 o'clock open or that particular candle I should say opened at 4 o'clock so if we scroll in a little bit we can get a bit tighter in to have a look at what happened this can this trade didn't play out as well as the Cardona one um, and I closed this one out. However, I'll show you how I managed this trade. So I got in on this trade at 33.05, uh, which was only just a few cents above here. Um, so 4.05, the candle started this right at the start. I jumped in there, I looked, I looked back at here and said, look, we're, we're breaking out here. It broke out, felt pretty cool. Um, I'd actually had my stop loss set just below the POC. So that's the POC, a point of control. Um, so my stop loss was actually at that point did this and then it retraced and the candle actually closed here because this candle actually opened there and it, it jumped up pretty quickly so it closed there the next candle opened here i was still in the trade at this point fluffed around for a bit fluffed around and then closed there luckily for me i kept my stop 
I just kept my stop. I, d I was only risking the actual, um, on that particular, when I looked at the setup and buy bit, I was actually only risking about $3.50. So it wasn't a huge risk just here. And what I was looking for is I was waiting to see if the price is gonna come up to this level because that was my target. However, what happened is that the next candle opened up. So it started to go the direction I wanted, which made me feel pretty happy. So at that point, as soon as we got up to this and the point I was looking back at, I was particularly interested in this. If I broke that stop and I broke this stop, um, I knew around this level and once we'd broken through the value area high was a signal for me to move my stop loss. Um, so it came up to here, which is above value area as well as that the, the stop over to the left side. So at that point I actually moved my, my stop loss up to this level here, which is just a dollar or two above um, or it's actually about $5 in Ethereum pricing. Uh, but in regards to the stop loss, it was about $1.50 in profit above that, that entry. Um, however, what you'll see is, so this candle went up, it actually closed there, and then the next bar opened here, and boom, it ended up coming down and hitting me and taking my stop out. However, we refer to this as covered in profit. I was happy with that. Um, it didn't work out the way I was hoping. If I was patient enough, um, I, I, I could have possibly just kept my stop here. However, if I'd left my stop there, there was a fairly good chance that would have come out and take me out. And that trade would have been, a, that would have been a loss. That would have been about a four or $5 loss. Um, as I said, it was about 350, I'd sorry, that I'd said before. So the fact that I'd moved my stop up for me just meant that I was really focused on protecting my capital. Um, I was happy, it was fine, no big loss. And if you were really patient, you can see that the Ethereum at the moment is just doing this. It's just hanging around this particular price. So at the moment, not a lot going on with Ethereum, except for the fact that we may be heading back up. However, and, and when I look at this chart, and if you're familiar with the TPO, what I'm looking at here is that's the VWAP. Um, I'm, I like the fact that we're sitting above the VWAP. So if I was going to be looking to trade, I'd be looking for trades that direction. Um, mind you, if we come back down under here, I'm possibly looking at possibly doing a short entry here but as I said I'm, I'm not going to trade now because I've just finished all my session I'm pretty happy with the day and you'll notice if you scroll back and if you're familiar with the market profile this is an interesting structure to take notice of so there's a nice big gap here so if we come down here that'll be interesting to see what happens However, this is the intention of this video is to show you and just do a review of the trades I did today. Um, I took a total of three trades. Um, all three were winners with Ethereum one being a very, very tiny profit. The other two were really good breakout trades for ADA. So super happy with Cardona today. And if you're not familiar with Cardona, they've just done a couple of really good announcements. So from a fundamental long-term investment, so it's looking pretty cool. Uh, I'm not a financial planner. I'm just a novice trader. Um, however, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with using tools like GoCharting. So, if, you're, if you want to check out a cool tool to trade using the market profile, GoCharting is definitely one of the go-tos and there's other tools like ExoCharts as well, which I've done a few videos on, um, as well as if you're really, really hardcore, um, prog there's programs or platforms like Quant Tower, which allows you, and NinjaTrader, etc., which allows you to um, um, bring in the cryptocurrency tools or the cryptocurrency data into more advanced charting packages. However, I personally, loving GoCharting, great platform, really simple to use. Once you get it set up, um, away you go. If you want to use my templates that I use here, which is my four chart layout, look at, look at Cardano, it's had another massive pump. Um, if you want to, if you're interested in using my charting layout, uh, in the description down there below, I've actually got a link to this particular layout. And all you need to do is click on the link. Once you click on the link, it will automatically open you up in a browsing page and you'll have, you'll see what I'm seeing here and you can save it as a layout in your own, your own account. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, it's Chappie's Crypto here. Check out the trade vets. Um, great place to learn how to do market profile. And I'll see you on the Discord if you're not already on there. And I hope you enjoyed that review of my trades for today. And I'll see most of you if you're interested on the $1,000 $10,000 challenge. Until next time, that's all I've got to say. Bye for now.